Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am back with another video for you guys and this is the look I'm doing for you guys. This is a fall inspired look. This is my first fall inspired makeup tutorial this year, this fall. <laughs> but yeah, this is the look. I absolutely love, love brown lips. I love vampy lips. I love fall makeup. It's my favorite makeup. Obviously, Simba loves it too, so that's why he's chilling here. But um, yeah, you guys, so I'm going to be not really uploading videos as frequently because I am actually in the process of moving. I'm supposed to be packing my stuff right now, but I'm making this video for you guys because I had to. I felt like doing my makeup today and I had to film a video for you guys. So I'm going to be, this is probably going to be my last video in this room. <laughs> We had so much memories here, didn't we, Simba? Well, so I actually have a few videos that I filmed a while ago, and they're not going to be on this makeup channel. However, I teamed up with I Love Makeup Channel, and the videos will be on that channel, and I will link it in the description bar down below, or I'll put like an annotation somewhere here in the video, and you guys can check out those videos as well. So that's two makeup tutorials you guys can check out on I Love Makeup Channel. So yeah, if you want to see how I achieve this look, please continue to watch. Before I apply any eyeshadow to the eyelid, I like to apply a base first, so this is going to give my eyeshadow something to stick to. I'm using the Naked Urban Decay Skin Concealer, and I just apply it all over the eyelid. Sometimes I use the MAC Pro Long Wear Concealer as well because it doesn't really crease up. So the first eyeshadow I'm using is actually a blush, and it's by Makeup Geese Cosmetics. It's called Infatuation. It's a very light brown, and I'm just going to place it a little above the crease, and I'm using the Sigma E40 brush to apply the eyeshadow. The next eyeshadow I'm using is Coco Beer by Makeup Geek Cosmetics. It's a warm brown. It's like a perfect transition color. I love it. And I'm just going to pop that into the crease as well. I'm using the Sigma E40 brush. Then we're going to move on to using the eyeshadow Mocha. Mocha is a dark brown eyeshadow. And I'm going to use the uh, Smith. I believe this is the 235 brush. And as you can see, I'm placing that into the crease to create a defined crease. And I'm kind of pulling it out at the end. So I'm kind of creating not really a cut crease, but I just want the crease to be really defined. Okay, so this next step is completely optional. Uh, you can fill out your brows whenever you feel like it. I like to either fill them in before I even apply my eyeshadow or even sometimes during I apply my eyeshadow. It's like up to you, whatever you feel comfortable with. And I'm using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz Pencil and this is in the shape shade <laughs> this is in the shade dark brown and i'm just lightly filling in my brows uh, i wasn't really feeling my brows today you guys i kind of wish i'd make them a little bit stronger but this is what i did now i'm gonna go back into the eyeshadow coco bear and i'm just gonna reapply that eyeshadow right above the crease and then we're gonna move on to applying the lid color now on the lids i'm actually using two eyeshadows so i'm using grandstand and bada bing so i just dip my brush into both of them and I'm just gonna apply this all over the lid I'm lightly patting it onto the lid and then I'm just gonna go ahead and blend that out I believe this is the MAC 224 brush that I'm using to blend the eyeshadow and these eyeshadow are by Makeup Geek as you guys can see I'm using quite a lot of Makeup Geek eyeshadows and that's because I'm really 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 am obsessed with these eyeshadows they are very affordable and they're really easy to work with and I'm gonna go back into the eyeshadow mocha and I'm gonna take a black eyeshadow as well and make them together and I'm just gonna place that into the crease using an angle brush kind of to create a more defined crease so giving it a little bit of a cut crease effect we're gonna blend this out with the Smith 235 brush I love using this brush because it gets into the crease really easy Now, instead of using a tape, I'm actually using a wet wipe to create a sharper edge at the outer corner. You could use a tape to do this as well. Now, we're going to move on to mascara. So, I'm going to apply some mascara to my top lashes. And you guys, I must say that my skin is not really... Oh, look who it is. It's Tanea. She wanted to be a part of the video. To ensure that my foundation has a flawless finish and to ensure that it lasts all day long, I'm going to use my favorite primer. This is the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer. I apply it all over my face. And today's foundation is new. Uh, well, this is the first time I'm using it on my channel. This is the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Foundation in the shade 173. And I'm going to go in with my absolute new favorite brush ever. This is by 
Artis, Artis, I hope I said that correctly, Artis brush. It's so soft, you guys, and it puts on your foundation so easy. And I just love how it makes my foundation look. It kind of gives it like an airbrush, like very flawless, almost Photoshop finish, I think. And then I'm going to go ahead and do some contouring. I'm using the Black Opal Hazelnut. Um, foundation stick and I apply it in my jawline along my forehead area you guys know what I do all the time well if you're not new to my channel but I'm not gonna do my full like highlight and contour in this video I just want to show you guys how I use the brushes and I'm gonna go in with my beauty blender sponge as well just to blend out any harsh lines uh, if you're not familiar with my highlight and contour technique I will link a video in the description bar down below and for to set the highlighted areas I always use my Ben Nye luxury powder in the shade Ben Nana, or I use the Sasha Buttercup Cosmetics Powder. Actually, I love them both. I don't know which one I like more, but today I'm using the Ben Nye Luxury Powder in the shade Banana, and I place it under my eyes, and you know, I let it sit and cook for a while before I dust away all that excess powder. <laughs> Next, I'll be applying the eyeshadow cocoa beer on the bottom lash line, and I'm using a flat definer brush. I believe this one is from MAC. I'm gonna put all the brushes in the description bar down below. Sometimes I forget to do that, but I will put it in the videos because you guys are always asking me the brush numbers and names and stuff like that. And I also apply the eyeshadow mocha from Makeup Geek as well on the bottom lash line, and I just blend them out. Next, I'm gonna take the eyeshadow in the spotlight, and I'm just gonna apply that right at the inner corner of the eyes. Ah, I love this eyeshadow just makes the inner corner like really pop and then to line my waterline this looks really scary and it looks like it hurts <laughs> but it really doesn't I'm using the Inglot 77 gel liner you can also use a black eyeliner pencil I just had no idea what my eyeliner pencil was at the time and I'm gonna go ahead and apply some mascara to my bottom lashes and give them some length and yeah so we're gonna move on to lashes for the lashes today i'm gonna use vamtress by violet voss obsessed with these lashes these are my everything i've been using them in like every single video but that's the lashes i'm wearing today and we're gonna move on to the skin Okay, so to warm up the skin a bit, I'm going to use some bronzer. I use the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in the shade Dark Deep, and I apply it like, in the hollows of my cheek, along my forehead, around my jawline area, almost like I'm contouring, but I just use it to like warm up my skin because when you put, apply the banana powder, I feel like it kind of dulls the skin a bit, so i got to bring the color back into my skin. And the brush that I use is by Zoeva. This is the 101 Luxe Face Definer Brush. Love it. And then I'm going to go in with a contour brush also from Zoeva and I'm gonna apply a contour at the hollows of my cheek because I want to create a stronger contour and I use the Anastasia Beverly Hills contour powder in the shade cinnamon and I feel like my contour wasn't very neat so I just went back and applied some Ben Nye luxury powder uh, right under my contour just to give my contour a bit of a cleaner look I say the word contour a lot I know so we're gonna go in with the glow now cuz honey I like to glow and you guys know I like to glow so I'm obsessed with matte gold deposit I apply it first and then I go in with my favorite favorite highlighter of all time this is the bobby brown bronze glow you guys like look at that glow it is giving me freaking life and the fan brush i use is from morphe and then i'm gonna go ahead and i'm gonna dust away all that excess powder because we don't need that anymore and as you can see my contour is looking a lot cleaner and I just felt like I wanted to be, you know, extra glowy. So I add a bit more of the highlight on the highest point of my cheekbone. And then I'm going to apply it down my nose, on the tip of my nose as well. And I also apply it right above my lips on my cupid's bow. Moving on to my favorite part, the lips. So I'm going to line my lips with MAC Chestnut Lip Pencil. And as you guys can see, I'm actually going to apply, well you can't, well now you can see. So I'm just going to apply it all over my entire lips because I want to have a warm tone brown shade. And I didn't really have a lipstick that is like this shade, but I wanted my lips to be like a chocolatey brown. And then I'm going to go in with Colored Rain. This is Truffled Rain by Colored Rain. On its own, it's not a red tone brown. It's almost like a poopy color brown, but I still like it. I like it a lot, but I thought it would look really amazing 
blazing with MAC chestnut lip pencil mixed together. And yeah, that is pretty much the finished look. And of course, I'm applying more highlighter because I want to glow even more. But yeah, this is the finished look. I really hope you guys enjoy this tutorial. Please give me a big thumbs up if you do. And I will see you guys in another video very, very soon. I love you guys. And thank you so much for watching this video. Bye.